Hey everybody, this is David Wells here. I just wanted to share a new Atom plugin that I just um, built and released. It is autocomplete for React components. It'll autocomplete your prop types um, and uh, components inside of the Atom editor. Um, and if you look at the GIF here, it's pretty much what it does. Let's take a live look at it. So I've set it up for this project here. Uh, and I'm going to run through the install later in this video. But basically, I can just start typing out a component. And because I've created my auto completions setup, I basically get all of the prop types completed for me out of the box. Uh, and this is without any static uh, type checking setup. So basically, I can type, start typing any one of my components that's either from my project or a third-party component library that I might have included. And it will go ahead and uh, auto-complete all those things for me. So I don't have to look at the docs when I'm creating my stuff. So that's what it does in a nutshell. Let's take a look at how to actually install it and set it up. So first things first, go into your Atom package manager click on the install and we're going to search for react auto complete and here's the package right here I'm just going to go ahead and install it now that it's installed uh, it will basically check if the project you're working in has an auto complete file in it um, so cool so we might need to restart Adam just to make sure everything's good but uh, let's go ahead and set this up for a project. So the way this works is it works on a per project basis because you don't want to install uh, auto completions for like a bunch of different components you're not using for your project or you might have naming collisions or what have you. So basically what uh, we're doing here is we're going to do it. We're, it's set up to work on a per project basis um, and there's a CLI tool. So we're going to go ahead and install that real quick. So npm install react dash autocomplete CLI dash save dev. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. This is what actually will parse through the components that you give it and will automatically generate those uh, auto completions for us. Once we have that set up in our project, we can see it in our dev dependencies. Um, everything's good there. There's the react CLI, cool. Autocomplete CLI. Um, so what I've done here is I've also added on my npm scripts. I've just added the uh, npm run generate, and that's actually running rc dash autocomplete, which is the terminal command that will run uh, the React component autocompletion uh, CLI. Um, and there's actually two versions, two ways to do that. Uh, one is RC autocomplete and you pass it uh, the source of your components that you want to generate completions for. Um, and then the other one is just the generic RC autocomplete. And that uses the .importjs.json file, which looks like this. So, and this is in the readme as well, but basically I'm saying, hey, uh, you know, React autocompletion, go to these two different paths. So like my actual components directory inside of my application here and uh, go into my node modules and I'm using React Toolbox, a component library that's pretty awesome. I recommend checking out um, as my other components. So cool. So that's basically the two different ways that you can do it. Um, I'm using the .import uh, js.json uh, because it's uh, from another project that uh, can do automatic imports and stuff for you. Uh, and they've done a lot of stuff with aliasing and what have you. So there, I have some ideas to extend this kind of functionality uh, moving forward. But anyways, that's kind of the setup. So now that we have installed the CLI in our project here, um, and we have set up our um, .import.js.json file, I've told it where to go look for my components. I'm just gonna go ahead and run that command. npm run generate. And that's gonna parse through using React Docgen, uh, given the sources we've given it, and generate uh, what we can see here is the completions.json file. So this is in my project root. Um, this is just like a documentation application, just as an example. 
Uh, but basically, uh, this completion is all of my components with all the prop types and the types of prop types. Now that I've completed this step and included my completions.json in my project, um, I can actually go ahead and go into you know, one of my um, files in this project and start typing out. And it looks like one of the things, and I'm working on this, it'll probably be in a future release, uh, we need to restart Atom. So it's not picking up those completions yet. Uh, that's something I've noticed. So if we just go ahead and quit Atom, restart it, and jump back in here. So now if I start typing something out, there are all of my components from my completions file. And I can choose you know, any one of these, hit space. Here's all my prop types with the type. Um, yeah, and that's basically it. So now we have, uh, for this entire project, I can auto-complete all of my components, uh, both from my application source and a third-party um, library that I'm including here. So yeah, hope you guys find this useful. Um, this should make the dev experience a lot nicer and that's gonna be awesome for the React community. And I hope people can take this idea uh, and extend it elsewhere. But um, yeah, so I'm looking for, you know, if you, if you wanna to contribute to the project, uh, shoot me a tweet at David Wells. Um, or if you have any ideas on how to make it even better, um, yeah, just let me know. But uh, hopefully this helps you out. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.